This is my brand new Black Desert Online account, but it has some rules and restrictions. First off, I cannot purchase any pearls, which means no additional weight, inventory slots, or any other items that could benefit my experience. I can only use what is given to me by naturally playing the game. Secondly, I cannot take advantage of the accelerated progression through the seasonal server, which includes any catch-up gear like Tuvala armor or any pre-enhanced accessories given through level rewards. But most importantly is that I have zero access to the central market, which means I cannot buy or sell items unless from an NPC. And the goal? I want to reach 700 gear score. I know this is going to be a tedious task, but I'll be enjoying every step of the way. And if at any point you want to read over the rules for yourself, the link will be down in the description below. And with all that out of the way, welcome to Black Desert Online, Iron Man Edition. In the previous episode, we finally managed enough gear to start working on our infinite potion. And to prepare for that, I went ahead and completed the brief questline to unlock our fairy, which we ended up getting so RNG carried with. Knowing that I'd be completing the Magna soon, I went ahead and started participating in world bosses to start working towards a hundred latent auras to one day turn those in for another piece of boss gear. But seeing as though I haven't attempted the rift bosses that spawn around the world, I went ahead and completed my first gauntlet. Alrighty, so I finally took the time of day to get around to my rift bosses. Now, the reason why I postponed doing these for such a long time was because when these originally came out on my main account, I remember not being able to do them at a certain gear score, and I was very hesitant to doing it on this account for that reason, but I decided to give it a shot and just see if I was able to do it, and I was. So we now have these boxes here. I was able to do all six of them, and we have our 12 boxes here. And obviously, I would like to get as many yellow accessories as possible. But in the event that we just get like chromosomes or something, that's fine. Um, I do also know that I wanted to do these for the dark spirit greeds. I already put some in my storage, but uh, these are going to help a lot because you can exchange 10 of these for an item collection increase scroll. And on this account, that's going to be important because the only reliable way that I can think of at the moment is also Pit of the Undying, which I have not started yet. So, without further ado, let's get into opening the boxes. We are going to start with the blue ones, because they're the, the least, and then these the most, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. But, alright, first box. Here we go. No Pog Champ, so Krons. If we get a duo accessory out of this, that'd be kind of insane. Okay, no Pog Champ again, so Krons. Honestly, if we can get the Krons in all four of these blue ones, get those out of the way, that'd be nice. Okay, we got a... doesn't really do anything. Okay, maybe I'll... maybe I'll, like, melt it or something, if that's possible. Oh my gosh, dude. Okay, I'm honestly not upset about that, because I would be more upset about getting Krons out of these boxes, but time for the red ones. And... Okay. It didn't pop up here, so I don't know what it is. It is a Renaro's ring. Okay. That is probably going to be turned into Yona's fragments. <laughs> another yeah. Pog Champ, but it didn't pop up. I think that's another... Maybe like a Seraph's? Another Renaro's ring. Okay. Again, Yona fragments. <laughs> okay, no Pog Champ. And then last red box. Uh, let's see. Oh, I thought, ugh, darn. I mean, I might hold on to that, but realistically, I don't need it. Uh, okay, now onto the purple boxes. These are where we have high hopes. I need any yellow accessory that is decent. <laughs> yeah. Come on. A bat CL? Okay, that's not bad, that's not bad. We'll take it, we'll take it. Okay, none of that, none of that. If I can get a second Bassy Bell, I can low-key click it. I don't know if it's better than my Sula, but... Oh! Come on, come on! A lane? Okay! We're making progress. Listen, even if these aren't better than... Oh, I got Krons. Even if these aren't better than what I'm currently wearing, this saves me so much time because it is 
one less drop that I need from either Kartuga or Bassies, which is a big help. But honestly, for our first round of Dark Rift bosses, I'm not disappointed. Alright, I finally bit the bullet on doing this Amity game with Mevo Muranan, or however you pronounce his name. But now that we have 500 Amity, I now have access to purchasing Grunnel armor from him. I know I should have done this a lot earlier, but I now have this unlocked, which means I can start enhancing Grunnel. Okay, I take that back because I just realized that with every purchase of Grunnel armor that I, that I do, um, it takes Amity away, which means I would have to constantly do this Amity game for every single piece. I don't think I want to sit here and do that for that long. Alright, I just grinded a little bit of Saucens, and I was able to get four boxes in about 20 minutes. I'm hoping to get some helmets out of this, but I'll kind of take whatever we get. Okay, that is actually carried. What? I... Okay. <laughs> Alright, what? Huh? Wait, what did they do to the numbers? What? Alright, I'm just gonna try and use up all of my 10 stacks. Dude, what did they do to the... Uh, I don't even know, man. I don't even know what they did to this number. I guess it's more accurate. Nice, nice. Okay, I'm gonna use a 15 stack for this. Go plus 10. Okay, man. A little carried. Okay, I'm... I... Okay, and then I guess all these 20 stacks I have, I'll use those because I would prefer to use 30s for pry accessories and stuff. I don't know if I like this number. Like, I don't... It's changed. Okay, 12, I'll use another 20, puts me at 24%, there, okay, guess we'll just keep using the 20 stacks, okay, here we go, okay, I can't make this up, man, and then one last 20, we're just gonna let it ride out. If that were to have gone, I think, I I don't know what else I would say. Okay, let's just rip it until it goes plus 15. Oh, the durability. Come on, I have three more, two more, one more. And I, yeah, I need to go repair it. Okay, I only have five helmets. So we're just gonna pray that I can get this to plus 15 within that amount of time. Come on. There we go, baby. Plus 15 Grunnel. Let's go. I don't know. Here, okay. Th th 35%? That's good. That's good. That's not bad. Especially for Pry, I can kind of just smack it until it goes. That sat for a second. I thought I thought that was gonna go. If I'm gonna be honest, thirty-seven percent. Let's go, Pry! Oh my gosh! And then I'm gonna go grind up enough hunter seals to put the ultimate stone on it, the Pry Grunnel, and that should go up to fifty-five DP, if I'm correct. Nice. That is an increase by three. And then eventually once I get my chest plate, boots, gloves, and everything else up, I'll be able to get that four set effect again. But for now, that's an upgrade. Okay, so I just did about another 20 minutes here, but I had a blue loot scroll going, so I got an additional 100% drop rate. And I got 12 boxes, so let's see what we get. So we got four chest plates about three helmets four gloves one boot i mean that's not bad we'll take it so the next piece of grunnel armor that i want to work on is my boots just because it has the smallest amount of difference in dp as compared to my armor which is 40 and the boots are only 25 
So I'm going to do that first here. So zero stack is 70. 50, we take that. And now it's at 34. Okay. So 34, I think I can keep whaling at it. Okay, perfect. And then I'm going to put the 10 stack. Nice. We'll throw a 20. Nice. Throw another 20. Plus 11. Okay. Okay, we're going to use another 20. 20 here it only goes up by one percent each fail okay there we go i'll use i, I just want to get these 20 stacks out of the way Jeez. a blacksmith with patience okay um 29 okay cool uh, another 20. Now, I don't have any more Grunnel Boots after this, so once my dirty ability gets down to 20, I will have to go back to Saucens. We got two more clicks. One more. Okay. Um, don't remember what stack I used for plus 15. 20 to 24 saying it only gives me 6, so I think I'll use this 26 stack. Puts me at 21. Okay. Let's get this in one click. Or else I have to go back to sauces. Okay. Back to sauces we go. Okay. I did about another 20 or so minutes. And we only got six boxes here, which is a little unfortunate. But again, we're really trying to get boots here. And it looks like we only got one. Looks like, yeah, it looks like we only got one pair of boots. Ugh. Alrighty, so this time I spent about 30-ish minutes, and I got 11. So, let's see what we get. We got one, two, three, four, five. Honestly, that's not a bad chat, man. Okay, I don't remember how many fails I did because it's a new day. All right, plus 15, we're at a 22.2%. Let's get it. Oh my gosh. Two more clicks until we get down to 20 durability. And then I'm gonna have to go back and grind out some more Grono boxes. Come on. Two more clicks. We got this, right? Oh, one more, one more. Come on. 36 stack. Ugh. Okay. After, I think another 20-ish or so minutes. Uh, we got seven boxes here, and I'm hoping to get as many boots as possible. So let's see. Okay, this was a really good roll. Four boots, two helmets, and a pair of gloves. We'll definitely take that. Hopefully, this will be enough durability for us to get to plus 15. All right, we're just going to rip the band-aid off. We're just going to skip. There we go. Easy 15, let's go. We're just gonna use a 20 stack here. 35%? That's not bad at all. Let's see if we get it one shot. We don't, okay. Second, second click. This is minus 10 per durability, oh my gosh. 39.9999. Come on, come on. Give me pry. Ugh. Okay, and I think I have one or two more clicks here with this durability. And then I probably have to go back. Do I have one more? I do. Okay, come on. Come on, give it a shake. Give it a shake. Give it some love. Let's go. Pry. Oh my god, it worked. And then I'm not going to be equipping this just yet. Even though it is the same amount of DP as compared to my Valiant Catan's boots. I still have to go put the ultimate reform stone on it. 
And then finally got around to doing this for the extra 50 hunter seals, which will give us that reform stone. And then another ultimate reform stone. And then I should be able to immediately put this on the boots. Bang, bang. And then I don't remember how much DP this gives me. Oh, wow. Okay, 41 DP. Look at that. Jeez, that is a 5 DP increase. All right, duo. I know we can't downgrade anymore. Damn. I know we can't downgrade anymore, so... Let's hope we get duo. Okay. All right, now this is where... It's going to get a little weird. I'm going to use a 29 stack. I like these odds. 10 crons? I don't think that's worth croning. Oh my gosh. What? Your adventure into the Magnus begins now. A new world awaits you. Once you leap into the well, you need to make sure any preparations beforehand, you cannot use regular items in the Magnus. Uh, I know this is going to take about four-ish, four or five hours, I think, if that's what I read correctly. I don't remember how long it took me the first time, but we got to get it done. And then this quest gives us additional item loose scrolls, which is huge. These are cool and these are cool, but most importantly, we get five of those. Okay, and then for getting to Dregan, we get a enhancement help kit and a shock to box. I doubt we're gonna get anything significant, but hey, let's give it a shot. Um, no pop champ. 25 memory fragments? I mean, hey, we'll take that. Okay, and then at this point in the Magnus Quest line, we just got to Odolita. And I am rewarded with three Agris coins and three Supreme Old Moon Scrolls. I don't know where I'm going to be using these just because I don't think they're useful at any of the places I can currently grind at. But I might use these at potion spots because these expire in 14 days. Whereas these don't. So I can hold on to these, but I got to use these soon. Okay, and I don't know if this value pack is given to me in my inventory or if it's automatically applied but if it is thrown into my inventory then i'm just gonna delete it um oh it is okay perfect so we'll toss that perfect oh my god wait i didn't even realize we get a 120 stack okay i don't know what i'm gonna use that for maybe black star in the future but that's gonna come in handy. Here it is the long awaited pen boss gear. Wuju's gift for the Traveler of the Abyss. This is going to be, I think, the second most important decision that we'll make on this account. Now, getting into my thought process as to why I picked this piece of gear for my free armor is simply because I believe out of the four flames needed to make Fallen God gear, the flame from Land of the Morning Light will by far be the easiest to obtain. Now, I know I also need to meet the Kaffir level 10 requirement in order to create the Fallen God Gloves, which won't be anytime soon. But since I can't access the central market on this account, that means I'll have to manually grind up each flame myself, one pity at a time. And once I complete Land of the Morning Light and unlock the Black Shrine bosses, I'll be able to acquire the amount of embers needed to make my flame in just under a few weeks. But with now having our first piece of boss gear, the puzzle is now starting to fit together. There's still tons of progress yet to be made here on this account, but I'm glad I finally got to complete the Magnus and get that out of the way. I still have Land of the Morning Light to do, which is going to take an even longer time to complete compared to the Magnus, but unlocking the Black Shrine bosses to claim those weekly rewards is going to be so beneficial to this account. So until the next episode, I will catch you guys all hopefully next on my live stream. I'm live every Sunday, so make sure to go drop a follow over there. But if not then, I'll see you guys in next week's episode. Take care.